The Saudi-backed Golf Series LIV Golf took off earlier this month. We were pretty excited to see our favorite players return to the arenas, albeit a different one. Although the series was shrouded in heavy controversy before it got underway, we're glad to see things cool off and settle down. Now we can finally get back into seeing the golf we all love. The series has been going well so far, and they just announced their $50 million championship format. More on that in today's video. Starting off with, LIV Golf announces the whopping $50 million format. Mark your calendars because the championship is set at Trump National Doral Golf Course in Miami on the 28th of October. The tour is going to start by including singles and then four-player matches played over the first two days, followed by stroke plays with 12 teams battling it out for a whopping $50 million in prize money. The four members of the winning team will each each receive $16 million, with $10 million going to the runner-up and $8 million to the third-place team. This new format is clearly shaping up to be a highly competitive and well-funded event, so you know it's going to be good. Team captains will have a lot of responsibility placed on them. Everyone tries hard to stay ahead of the curve. Brooks Koka, Dustin Johnson, Bryson DeChambeau, and Phil Mickelson will all be playing each other in team and single matches. Besides this, they are also in charge of which players chosen to represent their team on the global scale. Although the captains do get compensated more, it makes up for the pressure they're under. Next up, let's try to break down the tournament arrangement. The rules for this new tournament are somewhat technical, which is why we thought that some background knowledge would be helpful, given that it's worth a total of $50 million after all. The teams that finish in places 5th through 12th will compete against one another in grueling head-to-head -head matches. The 32 players will then divide into 8 teams, each of which will play continuous 4-player matches, then a set of 3 matches, 2 singles and one alternate shot match will be played for head-to-head -head team competition. Each team captain will have additional responsibilities, including they will participate in highlighted singles events and will select the team's remaining lineup. Up until a winner is decided and the tournament directors declare that they won't accept any ties, matches will be played back-to-back. -back. This indicates that the competition will be intense as teams battle to advance past the semifinals. Each match winner receives one point and teams have to collect at least two points to proceed to the semifinals, which will be held on Saturday. More on the team championship finale format. The semi-finals are when it's going to be really start getting tough out in the field. In order to determine whether teams are performing well enough to advance to the next round, teams playing between one and four will compete against the winning four teams from the quarterfinal. In foursomes with a shotgun start, all 32 players from those eight teams will compete consecutively. Each match winner will receive one point. Teams will compete in the same manner in the quarterfinals, two singles. Matches, including a featured single match between team captains and one alternate shot match. There will be no ties allowed, and matches will continue until the best players between them are selected. Only the four teams with two points will be able to move on from the team championship, where it will be decided if they will receive the $50 million prize. Golf stroke players' final teams will compete in shotgun rounds before the 16 players are divided into twosome teams, with each team's score counting towards their final total. The team with the lowest team score at the finish of Sunday's frantic round is the LIV Golf Invitational Series team champion. Finally, a transformative year for the sport. The winning team will receive $16 million to divide among its four members. The runner-ups will receive $10 million, and third place will be an earning of $8 million. Even teams that are eliminated on the first day will still receive $1 million. So yeah, that's something no other league is offering in golf right now. Moving on, something the tour can offer? Spoiler, it isn't money. The tour can't contend with LIV Golf, Saudi Billions, and Accessible Award Cash and certifications, but that the tour can offer it's a mix of known competitions and surefire admittance to the major leagues and stability. The PGA Tour offers a lot of vocational security in a way that LIV actually can't. For mid-level players, LIV is an actual gamble and a huge risk if it doesn't work out. With only 48 spots available, many players are going to be left without many options for playing. But this new format has clearly transformed the entire landscape of how the sport is being played. Players are now demanding more security and compensation for their talents, which they should have been doing way before the LIV system came around anyways. A player who hops from the tour to LIV gives up their entitlement to play on the PGA Tour, regardless of whether their gamble works out or not. In a crucial way to blackmail players into staying, the tour has forced suspensions till almost 2024 for players who were seen as abandoning them. But this strong arming will only last for so long as LIV now actually has the power to maintain their own players. Many golf pros as well as 
fans expressed their disgust initially at what happened and believed the new tour was just a two-bit copy of the PGA and wouldn't last long. But the new tour championship has proved everyone wrong, and frankly might have put some of the LIV players at ease too. Their careers are now on the up and up, and they probably don't have to worry about money problems ever again. In other related news, starting off with Fox Sports about to sign media rights for LIV Golf. LIV Golf is in conversations with basically every significant media organization for a TV branding deal, and Fox Sports has an edge over the opposition. Front Office Sports is revealing through inside sources that Fox is the ongoing number one. LIV's chief media manager said that they needed openness and an expensive viewership platform where their fans could watch sports on the channels that they are used to. But these claims come after Wall Street reported how both Apple and Amazon declined to partner up for streaming arrangements with the tour and LIV themselves declined to work with ESPN, CBS, and NBC, this isn't a surprise as the new tour has now reached new heights of controversy in the media and channels are going to be hesitant about picking it up. Coming up, how Smith and Leishman were lured into the LIV. Cameron Smith and Mark Leishman were persuaded to join the Saudi-sponsored series by Greg Norman with the promise of a 25% ownership in an LIV golf franchise earlier this year. Talks to pull Adam Scott away from the PGA Tour failed. A decision on the location for an Australian event in 2019 was about to be made, according to Norman, who told the Sydney Morning Herald. On the eve of LIV Golf 6 event this week in Chicago, Smith reportedly received $140 million to quit the PGA Tour and joined LIV Golf, but the 29-year-old in Leishman also received the keys to a franchise that Norman wants them to expand in Australia as part of the agreement. Finishing off with PGA players now set on turning to LIV Golf. The golf and war just keeps on giving. In the latest episode of the LIV Golf versus PGA Tour feud, we're going to go undercover to the actual reason why most PGA players are going to switch over to LIV. This time, a LIV Golf Insider has provided information on the real reason why potential PGA Tour players are delaying their decision to join the Saudi-sponsored circuit until 2023. The latest LIV Golf Tournament in Chicago, which Cameron Smith won, did not feature any new signings, and it's unlikely that it will be made before the next event, which will take place in Bangkok in two weeks. However, there's a very credible rumor that Greg Norman, CEO of LIV Golf, is set to sign a President's Cup player. There is one significant reason why the golf transfer window has been rather quiet lately, aside from some significant adjustments announced by the PGA Tour ahead of the new season. With four crucial innovations that greatly reward its best players, the official World Golf Ranking System and LIV Golf's continuous problems are to blame. This is because they will have amassed enough OWGR points to be able to remain in the top 50 for the 2022-23 to season and will be able to qualify for the 2024 majors, even if LIV Golf hasn't had its problem solved, the players won't be at any risk to their careers. That's a wrap for this video, and thanks so much for watching. What did you think of the LIV Tournament's $50 million championship format? What else would you like to see in it? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos just like this. See you in the next one, and thanks for watching.